what's going on guys welcome back to the channel uh just got to friday morning just got to our lock up to get some gear for today's job well we've got two jobs on today second one depending on the weather we're doing an outside tv aerial old school i know but we're doing an outside tv aerial for a for, for it's actually for the woman who does the embroidery for my for my work gear and we're doing a little downstairs bathroom uh, like a little shower room with a toilet it's a it's about a metre square and it's got five down lights in it at the minute and a metre square is probably pushing it as well it's probably a bit less than that but the, the five down lights that are in there at the minute are 12 volt 12 volt down lights they've been in there for about 200 years i reckon and all of them have gone so which is uh, because they all run off the same transformer in the loft so we're going to be replacing five of them with just two of these on light, on light E6 Pro, as they called it, yeah, E6 Pro, with the little rapid connector and all that. These are cool white, because that's what they wanted. Um, cool white ones, excellent light fittings, um, and the remaining three holes won't matter because next week a plaster is coming to overboard the ceiling and re-skim it. Again, that's probably that's another good reason. That I'll just let me show you these light fittings pretty quick. So you get the well, you don't you don't get the bezel with it. You buy them separate because you can get different colours, about two quid. And you get the pro fitting, pro fitting, that's the one, and the connector, which just plugs in. So you you connect up into there with a little in and out push fitting connectors whatever you call them and then you just clamp it down you can just leave them hanging out the ceiling whilst you do your testing because obviously these are an in integrated LED fitting so you can't remove the lamp you just remove the whole thing and it, like I said it's also good for the plasterer that'll be in after us to, who's going to overboard the ceiling anyway so he can unplug them you can probably just pop that back up into the loft do whatever he's doing without smashing our light fittings to bits like they all do we all know that they love doing that anything you can anything you can do to prevent the plasterers gains so i'll get some footage of that let me just put this back away before i lose the bezel i'll get some footage of that in the loft whatever whilst we're there at the minute the light switch is on the outside of the bathroom shower room whatever you want to call it and there's a there's an extractor fan that comes on from the same switch there's no overrun timer it's just an on and off bathroom fan and a little old lady had asked us can we put the fan on its own pull cord switch inside the bathroom and leave the light switch just for the lights which we will do today and then after that oh i've already told you about the aerial haven't I? it's too early it's friday it's been a long week so hit the subscribe button wherever that is stay tuned and we'll see you soon mother the bathroom that we're doing it's a bungalow this so the bathroom somewhere around here ryan's just gone to the van to get us our proper dust mask before we start moving that and uh, we'll figure out how it's been wired and go from there. So we've got no audio on this part again, so I'm going to voice over it basically what i was saying was you can see the old lights there and so there's three of the old ones which are obviously completely disconnected the plaster is just going to take them out before he overboards it and that's our two new ones where he used the existing holes i just had to make them a bit bigger and as requested we put the pull cord switch in there which just turns that fan on and off and the light switch outside just does the lights on its own and I've also found out that they want the fan replacing as well. So we'll be back there in the future to change that because it's a bit old and knackered. 